Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about setting up uh, the Mesa 7i96 with Linux uh, 2.8 and detailing the setup of Linux 2.8 with the configuration tool of uh, this port the configuration tool 7, uh, 7i96 so there's a couple of things you need to know if you are new to this board of course uh, this board accepts only 5 volts and 5 volts only so be mindful of that get a good power supply for it and the second thing you need to change uh, the jumper here uh, W5 the board will be orienting uh, the, the lamp port will be to your left and the W5 should be down uh, down usually we will use the EE -E from uh, the EEPROM, the IP and the EEPROM, it's 10.10.10.10, something like that. So we're gonna change that here, it's gonna be up, so we put it down, okay? Uh, that's W5. And now we're gonna jump to the computer and set up and go through the process of setting up Linux 2.8 and setting up the configuration tool so we're gonna start by downloading the ISO from the linux uh, cnc.org site um, I'm gonna be downloading the ISO already compiled so we're gonna download it and then upgrade to the linux uh, 2.8 as of uh, recording this video um, the last version is 2.7 uh, the, devel the developers said that they gonna release the 2.8 version, but as of now they still didn't, so this is the easiest way uh, for me, at least, uh, to do this. So we're gonna download uh, DB9 Stretch. Uh, make sure you download the, the RTP version. The RTP version supports the Mesa cards uh, over Ethernet. So we're going to load this. We're going to choose the roster revision, revision 13. Here, Linux stretch. We're going to choose the revision 13. So after downloading that, we're going to um, use a universal USB installer. Just uh, I'm not going to cover it here, but uh, you can use it to just put the uh, image on uh, the USB and then install it on uh, the computer. Uh, of your choice. Now, after downloading the ISO on the computer, uh, you need to change the repositories. To be able to download the version 2.8. So we go to settings, repositories. And then we're gonna change, uh, uncheck this and this. And we're gonna change uh, this one, check this and change this one. So we're gonna use 2.8. Just replace this 2.7 with 2.8. And also the source. Two point eight. You can uh, change uh, 2.8 with uh, keyword uh, master. If you want to download uh, the last release, which is version 2.9, I think. And we're gonna keep it for now 2.8. Just okay. Ignore the changes. And now we go to the terminal. Then type sudo apt get update. Okay, after uh, the update, the update is done. We do sudo. Of course, we do the sudo command. So we need a root. Uh, Access. 
Apparently it didn't prompt me for a password, but it will prompt you for a password because I'm running a live uh, destro. So we get install Linux CNC dash u space. This is gonna update it. See here, we gonna open CNC. Any CNC? Okay. Yes, sure. Okay, whatever. You see here, it's two point seven fourteen. This is the old version, the version of the ISO we are we already installed. So when we gonna run this command, it's gonna go yes and let it update. So now that it's uh, done, you can see here. So we're gonna now check and see if it's actually updated. Yes, you can see here it's 2.8. So we're successfully updated to version 2.8. Now we're gonna install the, the 7i96 configuration tool. First, we need to go to of course you gonna for all of this you must have internet connection to your uh, computer running linux you're gonna search for 7i 7i 96 configuration tool and go to the github link so here you're gonna go down and find the documentation click on documentation and then go to installing Here's all the command ready to copy and paste just in your terminal. So we go there. Copy. Then the next command. This command is gonna automatically install the configuration tool from the get uh, repositories and then you go you need to create a file in your home directory uh, with this name dot x session rc and put the following in it so to make sure that you are in your home directory you have this tilde this sign of a tilde so you're gonna just write sudo I know then the name of your file then just press enter copy the contents and then control X okay. then press Y then enter and we're done now you need to log in and log out from uh, your pc to to this file to take uh, effect so now you just type 7i 6 and the configuration tool is up and running So, um, to check if the board is working, you need to connect it with the uh, Ethernet first. You need to uh, set up a static IP for your uh, Ethernet. You must have the wire running directly from your computer to the board. No routers, no, not, not, not connected to the network, nothing. Just directly to the board. You need to choose, uh, right click this icon here and edit connections. Then choose wired connection, then edit. IPv4 settings and make it manual. So then we add an address. I'm gonna be
then we save close but if you go and ping 10 dot 10 dot 10 10 you should have a reply of my plans using this board i'm gonna be using it uh, to create a closed loop uh, for the, my cnc my cnc is now running a stepper motors an open loop stepper motors uh, with no encoding uh, encoder feedback at their back so i'm gonna be using this board the 7i85s it accepts an encoder i'm gonna be putting a linear scale encoder with a resolution of 5 microns i think uh, on each axis so this is gonna be ac accept the encoders and this is gonna connect to the main board with this jumper it's a special one i think and uh, it can resolve all of that pulses and uh, hopefully create a good good feedback system so I'm gonna detail all of this hopefully in my next video.